Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today again, I am going to introduce another awesome app, which is Smart ESS, suitable to online monitor and analyze your inverter data. This is for inverters, MPP Solar, Isun, Voltronic, or any compatible model which has a Wi-Fi module installed on it. So if you have not installed your Wi-Fi module yet, you can watch out this video on this link or in my description area on how to do that. Now, if you have done that correctly, you should be already installed this watch power Wi-Fi app and you should be able to log in using a username and password like this. And also your uh, data logger should be shown here and you should be able to go into overview page and this generation should be visible. If that is there, you can now start the installation of this new app. Go into Play Store and search for Smart ESS. I have already installed it. Uh, therefore, I will just open it. Once you open it, you will come to this screen. Here, you have to give exact same credentials which you used for WatchPower Wi-Fi app here. And just press the login. Now, say, same uh, Wi-Fi logger will be shown here. You can go in like this. On this screen, this is called flow screen, you can see the flow of energy. Now, PV is providing energy to hybrid uh, inverter and battery also providing uh, energy to the inverter and the inverter provides energy to the house or load. And grid power is at the moment disconnected because I have sufficient power from PV and battery to supply the low now at the bottom you have several options if you click the data setting button here there are a number of parameters which you can choose uh, you can only display five parameters at a moment say now i have selected earlier battery charging current so i can disable that and i can select any other battery say discharge current and you can go back then here you will see battery discharge current is shown here. At the moment it is discharging 11 amperes and battery voltage is at the moment 5.5 volt. AC output active power 1.67 kilowatt. Total generation for the day 2.4 kilowatt hours. And PV1 charging power at the moment 1.26. Now you can click the chart button here. This is also a very important chart. This is uh, showing the load pattern or load versus time chart here. Even you can see any previous day's load pattern like this. For example, yesterday. So my load pattern average is around uh, 1.5 line you can see. And if you see this area, you can click and see so maximum power yesterday was 4.32 kilowatt and this is the time where my leaf car is being charged from this inverter so that is why uh, uh, maximum amount of energy has consumed in that period of time so all these data you can analyze using this app not only that similar to the other app i have introduced on this link this also can see the month wise data, daily data generation and also yearly data. For example, this month up to now I have generated 259 units from this inverter. Last month, month number 10, I have generated 256 units or kilowatt from this inverter. All the historical data you can see. So this is the month number 11. If you go back, this is October month of October generation pattern. Likewise, you can see all the data from this chart screen. Now, the most important screen is the analysis screen. You can click the analysis screen at the bottom. 
then you will come to this screen by default AC output voltage is shown now at the moment AC output voltage is uh, 230.5 so it is very much stable at 230 volt because uh, the output is supplied by the inverter now I will uh, go to the previous day yesterday yes now you can see some places where it is stable at 230 means it is supplying the power from the battery inverter is supplying the output from the battery so other times where the voltage is unstable is that is the grid voltage actually now these times the uh, output was from the grid power or not from the battery so that time you can see at night time it is dropping even to 198 uh, volts which is very bad but can't help that is the grid voltage fluctuation so that is why it is very good to have an off-grid uh, inverter at your home all time running then you can have a stable 230 volt output voltage in your house so now you can click on the top tab and you, you can see there are a number of parameters which you can analyze like that for example I will next select the battery capacity so this this is not that accurate in order to get an accurate figure you should uh, check the BMS for battery capacity you can but you can just get an idea so capacity how it looks like normally at night I am not uh, discharging from the battery so it is saying 100% capacity when at 6 o'clock in the morning the inverter starts to uh, uh, use the battery power only so it is dropping like this not that accurate but it can work but there are many important other parameters battery charging current so see up to uh, 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock there is no uh, charging current after 9 o'clock so it has started to charge the battery from the PV so at this time 37 ampere has been uh, forced to the battery likewise throughout the day you can see how the battery has been charged or oh, the amperage that uh, inverter has given to battery then also battery discharge current when my uh, load is running from the battery how much it has discharged from the battery see sometimes it has uh, by maximum yesterday it has discharged uh, say 60 ampere at this time around 9 o'clock it has discharged uh, at a 60 ampere rate uh, from the battery so these data will be very much important for you to uh, fine tune your system say if it is uh, discharging more than 100 ampere then your uh, system or wires uh, in the uh, fuse and MCBs should be designed according to that so you can check uh, uh, kind of month or um, data and see if that exceed your system uh, parameters and you can fine tune them then I will show you uh, battery voltage this is also very important I have set my maximum voltage to uh, 57.4 I have a leaf module battery pack 14S4P so when it start discharging voltage drops 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 and here it has again uh, charged in and voltage has gone up like that it has varied throughout the day and at the night again it will charge to 100% and it will remain as is until tomorrow morning so these parameters are very important then grid voltage of course we have seen that see this is the variation of grid voltage very poor performance no like that then uh, 
PV2 charging power, P, there is no PV2 in my case. AC output active power also you can check here. That is the uh, main uh, chart I have shown. See, same chart. And PV1 input voltage, which is very important. Now my uh, inverter is a 5 kV and the maximum open circuit voltage it should receive is 450 volt so from this chart you can see whether in, in a good production day or good sun sign day whether it is exceeding or reaching close to that it has never know the maximum voltage it has received is 428 volt so it is well within the specification limit if this is exceeding you should immediately remove one of your panels in order to protect your inverter and if it is very much lower than your specified uh, open circuit voltage of course you can add more uh, panels in series and you can increase the output of your inverter very important chart here then also i will select today generation this is similar to the other app so uh, today cumulative generation is showing here and total generation pv1 charging power see this is how it has charged yesterday uh, maximum at this time around 12 o'clock uh, 3.8 kilowatt output was there from the pv1 and uh, pv1 input current also you can see suppose you are using a 4 millimeter cable so we know about 18 amps is the maximum that can handle you can see from here see a maximum it has uh, received 9.4 amperes from the pv uh, panels so it is well within our limits so 4 millimeter cable is enough now say in here if it is reaching more than uh, 20 amperes sometimes then for, you can decide no you have to go to the next uh, type of wire gauge to handle that load otherwise the wires or the system can uh, fail at any moment of time so this app is more like for the advanced uh, users who need to fine tune the system not for the general purpose users so i think i have covered uh, most of the uh, settings here hope you guys also can uh, try out this app and give your feedback in the below uh, as comments and give your uh, inputs also if i, I have uh, missed anything thanks for watching uh, if you like the video you can give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel see you from interesting another video soon